Joined by Coach Natalia Ardagna after the beacon sweep of Emmanuel College. Coach, it wasn't nice outside, but your team able to get it done nonetheless. 22 hits, 22 runs scored today. The offense carrying over some of the mojo from Florida. Just how impressed were you? Every single player in your starting lineup had at least one hit today. A lot of the damage done by your seniors. How big is that to get a pair of wins today after not playing for over a week? Um, it was huge for us. I, we're just lucky that um, you know we were able to get the games in with the weather. It was, like you said, not a great day, um, but our girls realized that both teams were playing in the same weather and someone had to win, and they made sure that it was us. It was great to have our seniors. Uh, Camo had been struggling for a bit. Uh, Lauren was struggling for a little bit, and you know they're capable of uh, being consistent you know, threats in the lineup, and they really uh, pulled through today. So it was great to see them kind of uh, light the fire that kind of led the way. A couple of your other players who were hitting a little bit better in Florida, another big day for Alyssa Tully. How, how big is it? You, ha you do rely a bit on freshmen, a couple of starters in there every time, but to have the pressure taken off a bit of their backs – uh, with your sophomores and your seniors stepping up big time at the plate? Um, I think it's great that, um, you know, we, it kind of goes back and forth. I, I, I enjoy the fact that, you know, sometimes it's our freshmen that contribute the most, sometimes it's our sophomores, or sometimes it's our seniors. Um, it just kind of speaks to the kind of chemistry that we have and the way that our team is developed and the way that they all, um, you know, support each other regardless of what class they're in. Jess Greenspan, a pair of wins today. She went 11 of the 13 innings. It can't be easy as a pitcher. You're a former catcher. You've obviously worked with a lot of pitchers. Just how much grit did she show today? A tight strike zone, especially in game two, and able to hold off a pair of late chargers by the Saints. Um, she did great. She was uh, composed. She maintained her composure despite some very questionable calls um you know luckily he was making questionable calls on both sides so you know both pitchers unfortunately had to deal with uh, an erratic strike zone but just you know didn't let it bother her she managed to do what she needed to do um and our offense managed to generate enough runs and, and defense you know totally had her back so it was good um you know that she kind of got that under her belt 10 and 2 on the season you thought that you could come <coughs> out of florida with 8 to 10 victories and did so Two more wins today. How big is that for this team? Still a pretty young team despite having three seniors to have the confidence flowing heading into Babson on Tuesday and then conference play on Saturday. It's great to, you know, have a 10-2 and two record. We we definitely do need to tighten up a lot of things. Um, there's some mental mistakes, um, some things we get a little bit lax with um, that we really need to make sure that we're capitalizing on um, playing efficient, clean softball, and I think that that's really where our focus is going to be in the upcoming week. Um, hopefully the weather cooperates and we can get outside and really kind of um, – you know, test the limits of our defense. But I think that, you know, offensively we're playing pretty well. They have a lot of confidence, and, and you know, hopefully they keep that up. Um, but it's really important that, you know, when one part of the lineup kind of slacks a little bit, the rest of the lineup picks it up. And I think we've got a good flow going, and, um, you know, I'm pretty confident that they can keep it going. Coach, thanks so much for your time. The Beacons, a doubleheader sweep in the New England opener. Thank you.